Bunker Buster saying, many videos ago I said I would eventually show you how to un how I wind wires. When is that gonna happen? Um, you know, let's do it, let's do it now. This is not the official how to wind IAM cables video, but this will do. Um, it's just, I mean, it's not that complicated and this cable might not actually be the best example of why I do this. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's, let's make room for the cable wind. But, so some cables, and again, this is not necessarily the best example of one of these cables, because this seems like a pretty well-behaved cable. Some cables, however, are not well-behaved. I'm looking around me to see if I can find one within reach. Um, if you'll pardon me real quickly, I'm gonna step over here stretch and see if I can grab my Sony MH755. Ah, all right, this is an example. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do it with this one because this is a good example of a bad cable. This is a pretty solid cable. I'm not too worried about it. Although I, would, I will still use the same technique on all cables, but let's go to the MH755. So this cable is pretty stiff. Um, and I know the way that a lot of people will wind their cables is just kind of like take this thing, wind it up like this, right? You've probably seen this, you've probably done this. Uh, and then when you let it loose, the thing just kind of like, again, this is a stiff cable, so this is kind of an exaggerated version of it, but you see that the cable is just basically fighting you. Uh, and there's a couple of other issues that you get with winding your cable like that. Um, Maybe I'll show this too. Here we go. Anyone think that they were gonna see a hair dryer when they tuned into Super Review today? So I'm gonna show you my hair dryer cable. Um, this is just an old hair dryer that I use for actually bending ear hooks on my IEMs. Uh, and you can kind of see that the cable itself, let's punch in on this, it's just kind of warped because the way that it was wrapped up for years and years and years of use was very similar to what I just showed you with that MH755 cable. It's just that you're basically, you're basically kind of doing hidden damage to the insides of the cable when you wind it up like this. And it might not be a problem for you for the life of your, your IM, and it might be a problem for you, um, but I'll show you what, what I like to do, and I, I think it's a better way. So. The, the basic gist of it is that when you wind up the cable, rather than like wrapping it around your finger, twist the cable itself, right? You see like I'm twisting it here so that it winds itself up. You get that, right? that little move right there? And then the, the other thing, the other step here is that you wanna alternate your wind. So here I'm winding it over, I'm twisting it over itself and it's winding. And then the next wind, I'm gonna twist it and then it's gonna wind under itself. And we'll just keep doing that, alternating back and forth, twisting over and under. And if I do this right, this is, this is a risk, right? If I do this right and I let this go, it's not gonna spring out on itself. And look at that. It just holds its, it holds its shape, it stays in place. And then the other nice benefit of this is that because you've gone back and forth with that over under thing, if I just stretch this thing out, it's not gonna kink on itself. Let's do that the bad way and I'll show you what'll happen. So again, the bad way, um, and, and again, this is an especially bad example, this cable. Um, so here's the bad way of winding up your cable. Uh, and then if I were to stretch this out, you can just see it just kind of like bunches up on itself. It gets tangled up. Sometimes it'll tie itself into knots. No good. And you avoid that by doing the over under style. I hope that was helpful. Um, and there is the video I said I was gonna make. Yeah, see everyone talking about the, the over under uh, cable wind. That's, that's everyone's homework for the week is practice the over under cable wind uh, and report back your findings. Do you like it better? It does take a little bit more effort than the uh, kind of wind, but I find it to be uh, just a lot nicer. And yeah, Reggie, you're saying that it works for water hoses as well. I think I picked up that technique by looking up how to wind um, extension cords because I don't know if you've ever had a, like a 50 foot extension cord. You, you wind it up the way and then you go to pick it up like a month later and it just turns itself into a knot every freaking time. 
Uh, so I looked up a video on how to wind extension cords. There was some guy that was like a roadie for a band, does that kind of stuff all the time with the very long cables that they you know throw across the stage. So um, I figured I might as well apply that technique to IM cables and it's it's done me good so far. Oh, and Joe S, you're actually, there you go. You, you said it's called the roadie wrap. Uh, exactly. <laughs>